Hello guys, um, just just thought I'd make a quick video. Two things somebody asked me about uh, with regards to opponent car volume and also the special function which is, I it, well I hadn't noticed it before, I wondered what it was and I could never select it because I was running an AMD card, I've just upgraded my graphics card now I'm running Nvidia so all of a sudden that option is tickable for me so I just wanted to go over those two small changes. But the first thing I want to go over is opponent car volume. I suppose this is a, a especially important to VR users. I'm not lucky enough to be there yet or be one of those guys, but perhaps in the future. But certainly even, well actually almost more importantly if you're running a single screen, you want to be able to hear you know, what's going on around you, whether you're using just a headset or uh, a surround sound system. I'm quite lucky. I've got my I've got a 5.1 surround set up with the two rear uh, speakers mounted at the back of my chair, so they are pointing to, into my ear. So that helps me a lot with spatial awareness. And uh, I just changed with the screen on it. It helps me a lot with spatial awareness, so that I'm sort of more aware of who's where and what have you. Uh, and uh, I find that helpful for me, even though I'm on triples, because I th feel I've got my triple screen set up pretty accurate. And my screens aren't that large, so I am quite close in. I think my FOV is only about 140 or 145, which is great for me. I love it. But uh, So any extra little help with regards to you know what's happening on the left or on the right by me is great. Obviously, you've got the rear view mirror and your spotter, but best to just an extra little indicator to help you is always good so anyway um, what you need to do is this regardless of whether you use uh, a surround sound setup or not or headphones or not tick the surround sound tick box okay now I am running um, an external uh, surround sound uh, box and uh, that feeds into my uh, sound blaster system but irrelevant if you even if you're using headphones this will work okay so make sure you tick surround sound here now all that means is iRacing is going to send out 5.1 channels of sound okay in whatever format it's not apparently I don't know the technical side apparently it's not true surround anyway but for all intents and purposes this iRacing will, once you've ticked this box, will send out those 5.1 channels of sound to whatever, whether it's just a normal uh, 2.1 card or a 5.1 or a 7.1 system, it's going to send out that signal and then your card, whether it's on board or external, will interpret it how it sees fit. And this is also regardless as to whether you have the speakers plugged in and activated or just the headphones okay so tick this box here then you need to do one other thing you need to go into your app.ini the app.ini file in your iRacing documents folder okay so go there I've got mine open up here already the first section in the app.ini is the audio section if you look down here you can see probably some uh, settings here that you'll recognize just by the text description okay keep looking down here are the settings for the in-car volumes you can see here keep looking down and there just down uh, the, uh, a little bit further you will see stereo stream in surround balance now this is like this is like the old balance function when we just had the two speaker stereo setup this just controls how much of any one particular channel how loud that particular channel is now this is the central channel in my mind uh, people might well be able to correct me on that but this controls the volume of the central channel and how loud that is now I chose a figure of 35 I have seen people on in the iRacing forums using 25 45 some people 50 and as it says here in surround mode need a system specific adjustment to, to match volume with the surround stream so it will vary between depending on what um, 
surround sound processor you're using, okay, if any. Irrelevant, this basically adjusts the balance that iRacing is sending out, and then whatever card you're using will interpret that and send it to headphones, speakers, or surround. So it's, this isn't going to magically give you surround sound on just a plain stereo device, i.e. headphones, but it will alter the balance of the surround stream that is sent into your PC, into your audio device. And what this does is, is it slightly reduces your interior sounds, and that allows, it doesn't increase the exterior, but because you're reducing the interior sounds, then obviously the exterior sounds will, in contrast, be slightly louder. So you could play around with this figure. I found 0 0.035000 to be just about right for me and my setup, and on the headphones, and that was great. Now. You may find then that the car volume has gone down slightly for you, so you may have to tweak that. I haven't found it much of an issue, but if you do find that that's the case, then go into your iRacing and your uh, sound setup screen, as you can see here, and then you can fine tune the engine balance against the rest of the uh, um, options here. As to what you see fit. I, I don't like the sound of the tires too much personally so I turn that down. Crashes not as so important for me. I know if I'm having a crash <laughs> and uh, the wind I just find annoying. Okay but engines then you can sort of tweak it there and also don't forget you can also um, adjust the uh, on a per car basis the in-car volume using the uh, camera editor by pressing control and F12 making sure you've already selected cockpit view otherwise you'll be editing another one and then you'll see mic gain there and you can adjust that slider up or down so that's the first little tip anyway for being able to hear opponent cars much better and that works for me now the other tip I have is for well it's not actually a tip it's just to make people aware of it and I can see that there is a difference and there's probably a performance increase something around about 10% maybe a little bit more but this only applies to um, NVIDIA users by ticking this box here if you're running a triple screen setup only this is going to apply multi -project, uh, projection obviously because there are three screens and I've marked the number of screens up here the SMP box here make sure that is well hang on don't make sure that's it there are, there is a drawback okay well the plus side is that your frames will go up the downside is at the moment and this is f as far as I've read up with their uh, notes in relation to SMP within iRacing at the moment that turns off particles and in turn turns down not off completely I've still noticed some particles hitting the bottom of the car but it turns off the visual aspect of the particles for sure which is yeah I mean it's I, I mean I, it doesn't I don't mind too much I mean the picture looks damn good anyway and the performance gain is worth it to me you know so I, I'm happy to put up with that but just to make you aware you will get a definite performance increase if you're running NVIDIA I've got a 1060 it's only the 3 gig model but even with that I found the performance as I say it was a minimum of 10% so an extra 20-30 frames if I was uh, running at a fairly nice track like Okayama or somewhere like that where the, frame, the textures are well optimized anyway so the frame rates are generally higher but certainly we'll notice it even more at tracks like uh, the Nordschleife and uh, Le Mans and uh, where else are we going now? and you know Montreal or, or tracks where you have a high number of cars you know at the start so it's a, it's a big field and the system's trying to, trying to uh, write all those paints onto the cars for you quickly enough so that can sometimes drop the frames down, but I found that that really helped there, ticking this SMTTP option here, 
I think the technical side of it does, instead of basically writing three screens individually, so a one pass for the left screen, another pass for the center screen, and then another pass for the right screen, enabling this tick box allow, allows the GPU to write them, all three of them, in one go, thus obviously saving processing time and power. So anyway, those are my little tips. Hope those have helped you. So the first one is with the sound. Making sure you've got surround sound enabled, whether you're running, or you might not like it. If you don't, then by all means, just go back to the old 2D. But for me, I, I appreciate it because I can actually then adjust the balance and hear my opponent cars when they're close to me. And also not forgetting to actually change the uh, app.ini setting for the sound stereo stream in surround balance equals 0.035000 is a good starting point. If you find something better or if you have another way of doing it or you've got another workaround, please let me know and give me a shout in the comments below. Anyway, hope that helps you guys and thanks for watching.